Earlier this year, Aston Martin Red Bull Racing gave Dutch Formula One fans the opportunity to see their hero, Max Verstappen, running in the famous seaside resort of Zandvoort. And after he'd set the track record last year, they were expecting more fireworks from the 20-year-old. Aside from safety, the show run team have one key element to think about when putting on a successful event. Film management is very, very important at show car runs. We have to keep the temperatures below a certain level. If we go too high, we have to stop the car. Also, if the temperature drops too low, we also have to stop the car. So it's very important we keep the engine temperature at a, at a very good set level. The driver can assist by going steady on the throttle. He can cool the car by cruising in high gears at high speeds and slower speeds. And everything he does can, can help keep the temperature cool. Mainly the temperature of the car becomes a problem if we are doing donuts. I'm not allowed to go over a certain temperature, so I just have to stay aware of that. I look on the dash, and uh, as soon as I see it's coming up to that, I, I just abort the donuts and continue driving, because if I just drive like it should be, then uh, the temperatures are all controlled. A Formula One car has a series of sensors giving engineers telemetry data on every aspect of the car's performance, but to actually see where heat is being generated, the team employed FLIR thermal cameras at Zandvoort. The flare cameras have helped us a lot this weekend. They've shown us where tyre temperatures drop over a lap, brake temperatures, engine temperature, and doing events like this where we do burnouts, donuts, high speed stuff and slow speed stuff, it's given us good insight into where we can maximise the car's performance. The team have a decade's experience of doing show runs all over the world and in almost any setting, so they've learnt a few tricks to keep the engine at an optimum temperature. We have a couple of techniques for keeping the temperature correct on the car. We can run dry ice in hotter temperatures and we can also blank off the radiators in colder temperatures to keep the temperature up. We use fans on them. You don't see it, they are just underneath the bodywork. Um, yeah, because normally those cars now, they are just for, for show runs and donuts and stuff. So, you know, the car is not designed to do that. So we need to put fans on to, to help cool it. In terms of tyre temperatures, the team in fact have to deal with the opposite problem, not enough heat when working on a shorter course. Brake temperature can be a problem at some events. If it's cold and the distance isn't long enough for, the, for them to get any temperature into the brakes, it can affect the car. If they can't generate the heat into the carbon brakes, then you won't be able to stop. So the shorter runs we do, it's difficult for the car to stop at the end. But on a proper track like Zandvoort, this was less of a worry, especially when Verstappen was joined by teammate Daniel Ricciardo and former F1 ace David Coulthard. There was a lot of heat flying from all three Red Bulls, and this certainly gave the fans a perfect finale to the weekend. OK, you can go full speed now. There are a lot of people. That's always good to see. And then, of course, with three cars, you know, Formula One cars to drive together with, with Daniel and David on, on the track, it's always uh, you know, that extra bit more fun.